Sup guys, I was going to do a game gym uh, tutorial on how to do the basic controls and how to use it. <clears throat> uh, game gym is a cheat engine for iOS that you can get from Cydia, which is a jailbreak required uh, app. And you can get game gym from the big boss repo uh, repository or source which is already one of the main ones that comes with Cydia. Uh, pretty sure it's in utilities. FG, yeah, see right here. <clears throat> I have it. So anyways, we're gonna use, we're gonna test it on. A lot of the games I know it won't work with. Um, well, we'll test it on post night. Go ahead and let post night open. Let it load. Taking forever. Okay. Actually, we're going to see if we can fix that 600,070. Okay. So, going to pull up Game Gym. Pick post nights. Okay, here are the basic uh, values you can use to search. Int64 right here will be usually your main uh, source of searching. It's like 80% of what you use to search in Game Gem. You, sometimes it may be Int32, but Int64 is your usual. Int16, you really won't see very often because whenever you use it you have thousands and thousands of values and it normally won't work out for you so it's usually int 64 is the best choice which means integer but <clears throat> we just call it int 64 because that's what it is ints any ints would be all of these but right now we're just going to go with int 64 go ahead and tap on here 600,000, hold on a sec, 600,064, search, it's probably 63 now, <clears throat> huh, then if it usually doesn't work with that, you can look on uh, here with N62 or 32, sorry, because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I guess that's not a value you can search. Whatever. Let's go actually over here to the shop. <clears throat> And let's see, let's try to buy some curry rice. We have seven. So we're going to go in here and 64, seven. <clears throat> let's search. Usually larger values are quicker to search. So you have over a hundred thousand. So I'm gonna go in the shop. Uh, gonna refresh that. So we get curry rice in the list. Oh, here we are. There's curry rice. Let's go and trade it. So now we should have seven, or not seven, eight. Sorry, eight. Go in here. Search that. Two hundred fifty. We could change it now. But sometimes if you change small values like that, you could crash the game. You want to be careful how large you change your values. Go ahead and do this. See if we can get another curry rice. There it is. Go ahead and buy it. We should be at nine. Go ahead and put in nine. See, we only have six values. Go click on this little tab that appeared under this 
so you can actually click that's a little one two three tab right here click on the little checkbox down here if you want to select all of the values as you can see the check marks on the left side are appearing you go over here to this little pencil notepad thing right here and you can change the value but if you want to lock as you see there's a little lock down on the bottom right you can lock the values and say you want to lock gold you have 500,000 gold you buy something it costs 49,000 it'll cut out that 49,000 but then game gym will actually lock it back to 500,000 I'm going to go ahead and change it to 109,999 and go back in the game close the little reopen it see and now we have freaking oh, almost a million freaking curry rice that's the basics of game gym you also have your little fuzzy which is if a value that you're looking for changes or just equals this is if you save a lock I should say but I reset it with there you got this refresh button I think I accidentally reset it then you also can have a speed booster which you can speed up the uh, time in game most games that are like online will detect the uh, freaking uh, the speed change and it will reset the app but most some games you'll be fine just by not worrying about it but see you have this little gear right here which is how you tap you tap on it uh, it's a little finicky with try to open it there you go so you can go like this and I'm not sure if it's working on here pretty sure it is uh, just go to this dude as you see the time down here at the little hourglass is going back pretty fast so that's usually useful for games that are not really too much online you can tap it again and you can pause it and see it's going by normal time 100 is the max FYI it's 100 seconds per every second so that's why I see it's freaking counting down pretty fast and so you can click on this and you're like oh five sec five gems to speed it up and you click on it again and let's let it go past 40 and now it's like four and you're like oh and see pretty simple then if you want to take off the speed for that you just go for the little green uh is that little green right here turn it off and there you go <clears throat> And more, you just have check updates, up to date, speed optimize. I really don't mess with this section back here, but there is a tutorial for Game Gym, but I don't know if it actually loads. I pretty much self taught myself how to use Game Gym. So, yeah, that's your general gist of using Game Gym. Um, if you have any questions, this is mainly for people who don't know how to hack beyond game gym but you can message me but all right